Okay, we'll get started. So we're gonna get started. Here we go. Can I get a uh, venti blonde americano? Um, a the bacon and gouda breakfast sandwich, but with no cheese. You got anything else for you? That's it. Can we each one get that free tomato? All right, thanks. That's it. If you want the hot drink, you have to go with the Americano because their drip coffee is garbage. It's hot garbage. Give it a cup of water. Yes, sir. Have a great day. You too. So here's the plan for today. Filling up with gas right now. Got my coffee in the car. Um, I'm going down to North Alabama to a place I've never been before. I'm gonna check it out, scout, try to get some photos. We're meeting Dusty down there. If you've been watching the channel for a long time, you guys know Dusty already. But we're gonna meet him down here and uh, explore a little bit get some photos. Hopefully the waterfalls will be good. It's raining today, so I'm hoping the rain carries down to North Alabama, but uh, I'm really excited to get out and explore a new area because I haven't been to a new area in a long, long time. What are you seeing back in there? You what? What are you seeing back in there? <laughs> well, there's a really uh, nice scene here with super soft diffused light kind of uh, angling down through the forest and nice collection of trees and a giant boulder that kind of folds a little bit of a diagonal through the scene. So I love this light, man. This light is just fantastic. We just found this cave that we were coming out to shoot. Dusty spotted it, but um, normally when I come to like a new location, what's wild is you look and you're in awe about like the really big scenes when you get somewhere, but it's really interesting. I'm drawn to like these rock formations that are behind me. I took one shot here, uh, just first shot of the day, just to kind of get the flow going, but took it at a two second exposure, ISO 100, probably like F8, something like that and get get the shot right but it's a good first start to the day get a shot in the bag Dusty's working on a few more compositions back there but it's a fun spot I always find it difficult to take the first shot of the day because I want it to be a good one I was really fascinated by these rock formations that were all around me like how did this happen and I wanted to capture a photo that showed it and I also captured a photo in the same area of this tree root system that kind of takes you back through the forest scene and to this nice hole in the ground in this karst limestone rock system. So we were just talking that like the light in here is so good and on days like this when you get these cloudy skies it just you you don't have to rush to do anything and I think that's why I like these days so much better is because you can just be patient with the photographs and what you're seeing in the outdoors and especially in a new location like this that you know neither of us have ever been to um, it's cool just to get out here and hike and see and we were just down here walking along the trail and noticed like this big rock face kind of like a cave sort of feature and there's a cool leveling pattern up on top, but the closer you get to it, the more that kind of gets up out of the frame and isn't as impactful enough. But when you're down there, down at the bottom, it's kind of hard to see through all the foliage and, and really see back to it. Um, but it's still a cool feature. I was having a little bit of trouble framing it up, but uh, I think that like when you just see something cool, like you might as well just take a picture of it, even if it may not be the most creative or, you know, 
thoughtful composition. Uh, when you see it and it just looks good to you, you might as well take the shot. So this is kind of behind me what I'm seeing. Uh, I have my camera set up down here. Something like a two second exposure. ISO 100 F11 is, is pretty much where I'm seeing, you know, everything's going to be at. And hopefully we see some waterfalls today. Um, maybe not though, maybe just forest scenes, kind of just playing it by ear and seeing kind of what comes to us. But I thought this was a really cool spot and it's a spot, honestly, that might stay get a couple more shots a couple different compositions because there's just all these rocks like there's a lot of lines and features that you can frame up in different creative ways so this is a fun little spot first i photographed this scene and i wanted that pull of the leading lines off the right side but i didn't get enough of the forest scene so i took this photograph instead still giving me that leading line but you see a lot more of the forest that tells the story of the area Okay, so this composition here is one that I'm really excited about um, just because I don't know why I'm really drawn to small scenes here, even though we're in like this big new location. But this behind us um, is like a really flat composition instead of a really wide shot, even though I am using a wide angle lens to shoot it. But you have this tree root coming through this rock right here, and then you have this pattern going down the rock kind of at this diagonal now if you position the tree root in the middle of the frame on one side is this diagonal pattern of just color shades and color tones but on the other side is this mossy green and you kind of have that uh paired contrast of rock face and and lines and texture and pattern versus the green moss there's a completely different texture and Stuff like this is, I probably love photos like this a little bit more than like your big overlook scenes that are really popular just because when you see them and you can kind of envision the photograph that you want to take, it's really cool to see like when you step up here that everything kind of comes together, still shooting at that um, two second exposure F11, ISO 100 around there, kind of bouncing up to two and a half to three seconds, depending on what the light's doing. But like I said, we get pretty even light right now. But I mean, this is like a really cool shot. Probably so far the one I'm most happy with today. I've been loving scenes like this because they're inspired by people like Guy Tal and Ben Horn, photographers I look up to, and what I love about this is it's simplistically complex. You have the diagonal lines, the vertical tree root, and then the mosses on the right side, and I just love this scene. So how many waterfalls are on this trail? Just however long you want to hike down? Well, right, like you can keep going. Like yeah. This leads into the main river, and right. you can, uh, there's another one. Uh, you, kind of, you could probably make a loop hike out of it, I, I guess. Uh, that you would hit on a loop. But, let's see here. Yeah, so there's one that takes you down to the main river. You go along the river and then back up to this branch right there. And there's supposed to be a fall right there. And if Gaia was working, it would say what it is because there's a waypoint supposed to be there. And then if you, uh, you know, continued on and, you know, probably just hiked in the river. I don't know if they have a, yeah, they got a trail on the far side. Mm -hmm. You could hike that trail. There's another falls there. And then you could hike back up that leads this way. Well, let's just hike in and see how far we want to go and yeah. whatever we see. Yeah, yeah. It's all good. Let me see about this map here. Technology is great when it actually works, but we were having trouble with the Gaia map system, this offline GPS app on your phone that allows you to find GPS coordinates. The problem is when it's not working, they're tough to find. Yeah. What do you think? I guess we'll head on, head on down the river. 206 is the right one? Yeah. Yep. Okay. According to the uh, Gaia map. Is that it? Looks close. 
but according to the that's where we are that's where you know our direction of travel this way so it would appear a little bit further up let's see that's a likely suspect though Wait, so it was this one? Yep. Yes, it was. Alright, let's see what we got. I don't think we got a whole lot. You gonna find it? If it's there. It has some suspense. I gotta say, I was wavering in my trust. Do you think we'd find it? Uh, I was kind of thinking it would be me. Once we got in here, looking at the map, I thought it'd be easy. But so going to the train, not so much. You know, with big waterfalls like this, I always have a tough time like composing them, just because they're so tall. Like, do you go? stand over here get the wide shot and horizontal do you come back here get the vertical shot and they're all cool i really like like small waterfalls you know but the big ones are fun too especially stuff like this that's not photographed very often but i think probably good to wrap up here yeah yeah head back shoot some boulder stuff yeah shoot some bouldering yeah some shoot some boulders and then Probably call it a day, wrap it up, bushwhack back out of here. I framed up a couple different shots here, this one being the first one. This one was a little bit difficult to photograph because of the dynamic range here of the shadowing underneath the rock and the highlights of the sunlight coming in. But I took this one too, just because I liked the vertical shot look better. And you can see where the waterfall actually hits on the rock below. What I really like is the line of the rock that follows up the left side and kind of curls around to the top of the frame too, really giving you that full story. On the hike out, I shot this photograph of just the overall scene of the boulders because I like to document the story of the journey, the whole scene and the whole look. This is what we hiked into to get to the waterfall and had to hike back out of. Notice you cannot see any trail system. We kind of bushwhacked our way back there. So just wrapped up the hike. I mean, it was, I was a little worried that it was going to start raining while we were down at that last waterfall because the conditions and the forecast said it was going to rain. It did start to rain, as you can see, like on my windows here. But I mean, just the last mile of the hike out um, really started to rain. So we wrapped up at like the perfect time, which I was happy about. You know, no one likes to get a torrential downpour before a three hour drive. And logging, looking at the GPS, we logged about nearly 10 miles today, just scouting and exploring a new area. We both wanted to go to this area for a long time and, and conditions just never really got cohesive with our schedules and, and how we could get to the same area at the same time. So I'm, I'm pumped that we got there. I'm pumped that everything came together. Um, I'm excited for how these images turned out and just seeing this new area and exploring just, I mean, just getting out and seeing something um, has been really fun today. So I'm happy with how the day turned out and how the images turned out again. Um, you know, even if no images turned out well, it was just fun to get out and hike and get some exercise and uh, just spend some time 
with one of my friends and you know that's what photography is all about a lot of times you know going on these backpacking trips or day hikes or day trips and I love a good day trip because besides backpacking like you can go to a location for just one single day you know I'm spending six hours total in the car today, which really, in the grand scheme of things, isn't that bad. But at the end of the day, I'll sleep well tonight because that's six hours in the car logged and 10 miles hiking. Uh, my legs are, are pretty beat. So I just hope you guys like this vlog and, and this style. Like, the documentary style is fun. If you did, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the like button. Just like what everybody says, pretty much. Uh, if you want to follow the channel, do. That would be great. I would love to have you along on the next trip, too.